Hey, Latchkey Kids and Driving Mutants, you are listening to KAB 1340 Antonio Bay Radio. I'm Lady Shasha, mistress of the snark, connoisseur of the gore, and hostess with the mostest, and I just watched Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. This movie takes place during a hurricane party at a mansion. They play some game called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. I would be so bored if I went to a party and they played this game. The first 30 minutes of this movie is quite boring. The dialogue is mostly trite, and the only character I liked was Pete Davidson's David. I was waiting for the killing to start because they sold this as a slasher movie. We don't get a kill until about 35 minutes into the movie. I wouldn't notice this if the movie was more engaging. Lots of great horror movies have a slow burn, but the material has to be engaging and the dialogue was just too boring for me. Sprinkling in internet jargon doesn't make it any better. That said, the movie does get much more engaging after the halfway mark. I laughed at them trying to make this basic ass movie seem art house by adding people floating in a pool to ambient music. The conversations sound like we are already supposed to know these characters but we don't know them so we don't know exactly what the hell they're talking about. Plus this movie is shot with so many close ups. There was a dance scene in the party and I just saw heads bopping because the camera was too close. Can you imagine the dance scene in Friday the 13th part 3 if they only showed the guy's head? We would have missed all the herky jerky motions. Other than that, it is mostly a great looking movie.